Eric Perkins here with the Perkins Builder Brothers. Today's the long awaited laser level video. We're going to show you how to use a laser level, why we bought the particular one that we did when it was time to buy one, and also the different uses for it. I'm also going to show you what we used to do, and that was to use a scope and a grade pole to shoot grade. And this is much easier. I'm going to show you how it works. So the laser that we have is a Pacific Laser Systems 360 model. It has two modes, one for indoor and one for outdoor, and it's also auto leveling. Now there's lots of these out here. All the big brands like DeWalt make them, uh, and they have different purposes. Some are for grading and doing surveying. Ours is more for building smaller houses. So there's three main reasons we bought the one we did, and it's very good at what we need it for. Um, it's very accurate if you use it on the inside mode. It has a flat base on it so you can actually use it without a stand, and it has no moving parts, so the batteries last a long time, and that's always good for us. This model comes with a reader if you're gonna use the laser outside, has an on-off switch, uh, two modes of accuracy, and you can also turn the beeping on or off. The beeping is very loud so that you can hear it over machinery, but if it's right next to your ear, it'll nearly deafen you. This reader has a screen on the front and also the back, so whatever side you're looking at it, you have a screen and it will tell you up or down, you're too high or you're too low or you're dead center. And that's how we determine what is level using this reader. So here's a real quick and simple demonstration about how this works. I've got this laser level turned on and it's in outside mode. Now it's shooting a laser beam perfectly horizontal in all directions because it's self-leveling. I've also got this reader and it's got a sensor that senses lasers. Uh, basically, when this thing moves up and down, it will sense when you get the laser exactly on this red mark. I'm gonna back up here because in outside mode, you have to be 20 feet away and show you how this works. Right now I have the reader below the laser level line. I'm gonna slowly move it up until it crosses the laser level line and this sensor picks up the laser. We're gonna be using the laser for two purposes today. One is to set these block on the front row, exactly level the block on the rest of the wall. Secondly, we're gonna check this gravel that's in for underneath the slab, and we're gonna check that it's at an even grade so that when we pour the slab, the slab is the same thickness throughout. So I'm gonna turn my laser onto outside mode. I'm gonna take my receiver over here to the wall we've already built, and I'm gonna establish how high this first row of block is so I can match it on this front corner of block right here. So I'm gonna put the base of my grade pole on top of the first row of block, which is what we are trying to match height-wise. Right here, I'm gonna pin it to the wall with my knee. Now I'm gonna run this reader up and down this grade pole until I hear it beep. I just got a measurement of one foot 11 and a quarter from the bottom of this grade pole to where the laser level is crossing it. Now I'm gonna clamp this reader on so I can go over here set my grade pole on top of the block that I'm setting and set it at the exact same level. Now I have the top of this block exactly level the top of the first row of that block. I'm gonna pull a string line between the two and lay this whole row of block through here. Next, I'm gonna reset this reader on our pole to give me the top height of where I want this gravel to be in our slab. I'm then gonna check a bunch of points on the gravel to make sure the gravel is all at an even grade. I want four inches of concrete on top of this gravel and I want my slab to end up at the top of this first row of block. So I've got four inches from gravel to top row of block and I've checked that with my square. Now I'm gonna run this reader up my pole again and get it at the right height. <laughs> Let me turn it on. Two foot six and a half, and I'll clamp it on. Okay, now that I have that set, I'm gonna run around and check a bunch of different points on this gravel, and then I can add gravel or take away gravel to make it level later.
Okay, we've done a bit of raking and now this gravel is perfectly level. We used the laser to make sure that it is. All right, I finally made it home. I got my Taco Bell and my laser level. So now I can show you the inside mode on this laser level and how it works. I'm with my man Che Che, who's got his own awesome YouTube channel, Che Che and Keiko. He's 10 years old, you should check that out too. All right, I've got this thing set up in my office and you can see that it is throwing a level laser line all the way around the whole room, which is so helpful if you're trying to set cabinets or do shelves that are level or do anything that you need level, like start tile on a wall. This will give you a level line and uh, it's really awesome and throws a nice bright line when you have it on inside mode. And so here's a quick tip about how I usually use this inside. I usually use this laser line as a reference line. I don't actually set the laser at the height of the top of the cabinets or the height of the shelves that I'm trying to put up. I just let it shine on the wall and you can measure up or down from this line to the point that you want to set whatever it is. For instance, we're going to use this as a reference to see if this ceiling is level. So I'm going to measure right here. So this drop ceiling is 48 and three quarters. Let's go down the wall a ways. 48 and seven eighths. So from those two points, the ceiling is an eighth inch out of level. And that's using this laser as a reference and that's the way we usually do it. And just in comparison, here is our old scope. It is not auto leveling. You have to turn the scope in line with these and then you level it, spin it level it you use this bubble uh, which you can get it nice and level but the very way you use it can knock it out of level by touching it and spinning it you can bump the thing out of level and then you're in trouble because you may have done half a project and then bumped your level by accident and now you have to start over so that's one huge disadvantage to this is it does not stay auto leveled and you're actually touching the part that has to stay perfectly level which is not a good idea in general one advantage of this visual scope is that it does not take any batteries. The batteries will never go dead. But the huge disadvantage, it takes two people to do it. One person has to look through the scope and another person has to stand somewhere with a grade pole. Okay, so let's do a quick demonstration of how this works. I'm gonna sight through the scope, adjust right here so that it becomes clear, find the grade pole, and then I'm gonna read a number off of that grade pole. Four foot 10, one half. Okay, you can see that that takes a lot more time and it takes two people. That's the advantage of the laser. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned how to use a laser level. We're gonna see you guys later. Peace.